In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix full spoken, crashing, freezing or not loading on your Windows 10 or 11 computer. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is just ensure that Windows is up to date. And we can do this easily by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to settings, clicking on update and security and then clicking on the check for updates button. If you do have a feature update available, download and install that as well. So now that you've updated Windows, the next thing that you also want to update is your graphics card. So if you do not have the latest driver installed for your graphics card, then this is not only going to impact the performance of how the game runs, it could also cause black screen, crashing and other issues with the game. So definitely make sure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. Plus, you'll see an FPS increase hopefully by doing so. If you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon, Go into Device Manager, expand the Display Adapters, and you will then see your graphics card there. So I've got a GTX 1660 Super, which means I would need to download the latest driver for that graphics card. I will pop some links in the description below to some guides that we have done on how you can update your driver if you're not sure on how you do this. So the next thing that could cause Full Spoken to crash on your computer is if you've overclocked any of your hardware. So if you've overclocked your graphics card and you are able to, Get rid of those overclock settings or CPU overclock settings just in case they are conflicting and causing the game to crash. But only do this if you know how. As the last thing that you want to do is go removing the overclock settings or doing it wrong and then bricking your computer. If overclocking isn't the cause for you or you've not overclocked your computer, then the next thing that you will want to do is ensure that you don't have any other programs or apps or users currently signed into Windows that could be causing the game to crash. So if you have a web browser open, Discord, TeamSpeak, anything like that, a music player, close down all these programs, even programs that record as well, like OBS Studio and stuff, close it all down in case it's conflicting with the game and making it crash. If you have users signed into Windows, they could also be causing an issue. So we can check if there is a user currently signed into Windows by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to task manager, selecting users, and as you can see, I do have a user currently signed in, which is disconnected, computer sluggish. And you can see that it's using 4% of the CPU, and it's also using 550 meg of the memory. And when it comes to Forspoken, it's quite a memory intensive game, so you want to give the game all the memory we can. So basically we want to sign out that user and we can do this by selecting the user and then clicking on sign out and then click on sign out again. Just ensure obviously that user doesn't have any work or anything that's not saved before doing that. If you're unable to sign out the user, then you will have to switch accounts, sign into that user account and then sign it out that way. So now that you've done all that, go ahead and launch for Spoken and see if that's helped fix the crashing issues that you are having with the game. If that didn't help fix the problem, then the next thing that we want to do is right click on the start menu icon again and go to task manager and you now need to go to startup and you now need to go through the list here and disable any programs or apps that you do not need to start up with Windows. So for example here I have Microsoft Edge, if I just enable that I do not need Edge to launch with Windows, so I can right click on that and then go disable. Obviously keep in mind if you do have a third party security program installed then don't disable that as it will stop it from working. So once you've gone through that list, restart Windows and then try the game again. So going on to security, that's also another thing that could cause issues with the game. If you do have a third party security program installed then it could be blocking the game and stopping it from running correctly which would then cause the game to crash, not load, or just give you a blank screen. So go into the options within your security program, and there should be an option to turn it to a game mode or passive mode. If you do have that option, then turn that on and then try Full Spoken again. If you don't have that option, then you can always disable your security software, but just keep in mind you might not be protected from security threats when you do this. So only do it for a short period of time. If the game does then work, then you know you need to add the game to the exception list within your security software. Another thing to do is go to the location where you installed Forspoken, open up the folder and then right click on the Forspoken.exe and then run it as an administrator. The next thing to do is open up File Explorer 
and then in the address bar, do the percentage symbol, type in local app data, and then the percentage symbol and press enter. You now need to scroll down until you see full spoken. Now open up this folder, open up Steam, then open up the folder with all the numbers, and then right click on the save storage, go rename, and then put BK on the end, and then just click anywhere in the empty space. This is now going to remove your saved data from the game, so go ahead and launch the game, and then see if it works. If it does, then you know it's an issue with your saved data. If it doesn't help fix the game, then just delete the new folder that gets created and then rename this folder back. So if you're still having issues with Forspoken not working, then the next thing to do is open up the program that you purchased Forspoken on. So the first program that I'm gonna show you how to verify the game files on is Steam. Once you have Steam open, you now need to select your library at the top and you then need to find Forspoken in your games list. I'm going to use Fee Rising as the example. You then need to right click on the game and go to properties. And you then need to go to local files and then click on verify integrity of game files. This is now going to check if there's an issue with the game files, whether they're corrupted or missing. If it does detect an issue, then Steam will replace those files. So if you installed the game using the Epic Games Launcher, then you can verify its games files by opening up the games launcher, then going onto your library and then selecting the game, so I'm just going to use Fortnite as the example, click on the three dots, and then go to manage, and you will then see the option for verify files. Now click on the verify button, and then the game will begin to verify. Once it's finished, go ahead and launch the game and see if that resolved the issue you're having. If you install Forspoken through the Microsoft Store, then you can verify its game files by right clicking on the start menu icon, then go to apps and features, then search for the game, so I'm going to use Age of the Empires as the example, click on Advanced Options, scroll down, and then click on the Repair button. If that doesn't help, then you can always click on Reset, but this will remove the data from the game, and potentially remove your save data. So ensure you have backed up your save data before resetting the game. If Fullspoken still isn't working on your computer, then the next thing that I'd recommend you do is reinstall the game but if you do have the option, then reinstall it to an SSD drive as it's a lot faster and can really help fix issues with the game loading slow and also graphical issues and crashing. So that does now pretty much bring me to the end of this video. I will also pop a link in the description below to a guide that we will do on how to fix crashing issues with Forspoken. So I will add more methods to that guide if I can think of any that I wasn't able to add to this video. So if you did like this video, then click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more videos on how to fix crashing issues and other problems within Windows and games, then hit that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.